Hello and welcome back. In today's video, let's create a grainy textured gradient, which will look something like this. So let's start with an empty document and add a rectangle covering the canvas. This rectangle will contain our gradient. I will use a conical gradient for this tutorial. So I will select the gradient tool and then select the conical as type. I will adjust the gradient so the starting and the ending point of the gradient will be at the top. Next, let's set some colors. To make the top part blend in better, I'm going to add a Gaussian blur. Before increasing the radius slider, let's turn on the Preserve Alpha checkbox and then increase the slider until the gradient is nicely blended. As we are going to create a grainy gradient, I will add the noise filter to add the grain. I'm also going to change the blend mode of it to overlay, which will brighten up the colors. To make the grain effect a bit stronger, I'm going to duplicate the rectangle and remove the Gaussian blur from it. I'm also going to change its fill to a solid neutral gray. To make the grain look a bit different from the initial grain, I will change the noise filter to use a uniform noise and adjust the intensity. To blend this rectangle with the rectangle below, I will change the blend mode to soft light. Nice, let's zoom in to have a closer look. Perfect. We now have created our grainy textured gradient, which we can use as a base for many purposes. In this example, I'm going to add some text to it and try to make something abstract. Once I have my text, I'm going to set its blend mode to negation, which also creates this nice grainy text. I will duplicate it, which basically inverts it. I prefer the bright area on the top for the time being. Let's group these two layers and apply a Gaussian blur to the group. This looks about right. As a final step, I will apply the soft light blend mode. Excellent. If you think this is too bright, we can turn off the second layer in the group. Pretty cool. There we have it. Keep watching if you want to see the end result. I can add another text to it and make this bigger to fit the canvas. I will also set the blend mode of it to overlay. To make it more interesting, we can change the fill of the text from a solid fill to a gradient fill. By playing with the gradient, we can achieve interesting looks. We can also add a color balance to play with the colors. And to make things even more interesting, I can change its blend mode to exclusion. Interesting, but a bit too dark. I will add an invert adjustment and we now get this nice soft look. Cool thing about this whole process is that nothing is destructive. So if needed, we can change the colors of the gradient. We can also turn off the noise, which is by the way, not a good idea for this composition in my opinion. Let me turn on the second text, which brightens the taste text, which looks pretty cool. That's it for today's video. I hope you liked it and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully it has given you some ideas and thanks again for watching. Keep safe and until the next video.